what is going on guys welcome back to the channel now today we are going to show you how to diagnose an obd2 port that isn't working on your chevy avalanche coming up now what's going on guys welcome back to the channel now today we're going to diagnose why my obd2 port isn't working on this 2004 chevy avalanche also if you do have this type of av avalanche these types of vehicles especially fords as well um, I guess all American vehicles may be like this. The OBD2 and the cigarette lighter are in conjunction with each other. So, what you want to do is when you plug in your scanner or plug in anything to the cigarette lighter and it doesn't work, you want to check the fuses. So let us jump right in so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, the um, OBD2 isn't turning on and it's plugged in right there, but it's not turning on here. And earlier today, I was using the cigarette lighter, but it doesn't work. So we're gonna jump right into diagnosing why this doesn't work. Now, the first thing that you wanna do, sorry for the lighting, cause it's extremely dark, it's getting dark outside. So the first thing you wanna do is locate your fuse box, which is right here. And you wanna look in the diagram. Now you wanna look for the part that says cigarette lighter, which is, this 15 amp fuse right over there it says sig lighter so that's what you're going to look at and when you look at it it's right over here let the camera adjust that's where our 15 amp fuse is right there so chances are this fuse is blown and if it's not blown and it's good then we have another problem which may be wiring or something like that so let us check this fuse so we're going to look at this fuse And I was right. I don't know how well you can see that fuse. Let's see if we can focus in on it. Focus, focus, focus on the fuse, my friend. It is blown. Let me see if I can get a light to show you guys. I don't know how well the camera picks up on that, but there is a blown spot on this fuse. Okay, well, it's so hard to show you this fuse for some reason. I don't know why the camera's not focusing on this fuse, but uh, take my word for it, it's blown. Um, the little filament inside is cracked and black, so you know it's blown. So let us get another 15 amp fuse, pop this in, and the OBD2 should work, as well as our cigarette lighter. All right, here we have a new 15 amp fuse. This is an easy ID fuse, so once this blows, it lights up red, allows you to find this fuse super, super easy and quick. But uh, let's plug this one in, and everything should work. I see it already. Scan tool officially turned on. That means the fuse was just the only thing that was a problem. Hopefully this helped you guys figure it out super quick. Just look for that fuse, 15 amp fuse, and replace it and your OBD2 should work as well as your cigarette lighter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really, really quick short video and um, stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you all later. Peace.